This is Old India Radio Shalom, the North East News Bulletin, read by Arkin Pariyat. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has emphasized on the need to enhance and develop skills of youngsters in the country to make them economically self-reliant through the Pradhan Mantri Kaushal Vikas Yojana. Under the scheme, the National Skill Development Corporation has become the hub of different kinds of training in various parts of the country. In West Bengal, the students of these training institutes have now started finding decent jobs. The training centers in the state are paving the way for self-reliance and a life of dignity. So far, 1,469 students have been trained by this training center, of which 885 students have secured jobs. The biggest benefit of these centers is that the skill development training comes free of cost to the trainees. The Ministry of Women and Child Development will set up a committee of senior judicial and legal persons as members to examine all issues emanating from the Me Too India movement. The panel will look into the legal and institutional framework which is in place for handling complaints of sexual harassment at workplaces and advise the Ministry on how to strengthen the framework. Women and Child Development Minister Manika Gandhi said, Sexual harassment cases at workplaces will be dealt with zero tolerance. The minister said workplaces should be made more conducive for women employees and internal complaints committee should be set up and more functional, trustworthy systems should be put in place. She added that the compliance report on the issue should be put in the public domain. Mrs. Gandhi said complaints can be given to the internal complaints committee or can be submitted at the dedicated portal www.shebox.nic.in. A local court in Tripura has granted the West Bengal Police a five-day transit remand of a man arrested for allegedly making derogatory remarks on social media against Chief Minister Mamata Banerjee. A West Bengal Police team arrested Sharma on the 6th of October for the alleged derogatory remarks against the Chief Minister. The subdivisional police officer of Ambasa, Ashish Das Gupta, said. Assistant Public Prosecutor Subir Das said a police team left for the eastern metropolis with Sharma yesterday. Meghalaya General Administration Department Minister Kamingwan Umbon said the government is keen to open a Meghalaya house in Bangalore for the benefit of students and patients who visit the metropolitan city for their work. In addition, the minister also informed that he has directed his officers to look for land in Guwahati for the construction of a new Meghalaya house since the existing circuit house is too small. Meghalaya presently has its circuit house in Guwahati, New Delhi, Mumbai, Kolkata and Vellore. The Meghalaya government is committed to revive the unfinished Rongai Valley Medium Irrigation Project in West Garo Hills that was stalled due to controversies. A meeting between PWD Minister Preston Pinsong, Water Resources Minister Metba Lingdo, Pulbari MLA, SG Estamur Momen and other government officials held discussions on the unfinished project and ways to restart it. It was decided that the Deputy Commission Chief Minister, the local MLA, along with other officials and the local MLA will visit the site for inspection next month to see the possibilities of restarting the project. In Meghalaya, the Central Puja Committee's annual get-together of Harmony will be held today at Stoneyland in Shillong. Tathagata Roy, Governor of Meghalaya, will be the chief guest. Leaders from different religious faiths, ministers, political leaders, academicians, leaders of NGOs and invitees belonging to all communities will attend the CPC's annual get-together of Harmony like in the previous years. And with that we end the Northeast News Bulletin which came to you from the Shillong station of All India Radio. Have a nice day.